been a little bit of time since my last YouTube video. Uh, recovered from Western States now um, and starting to prepare for UTMB. So today I'm going to take you inside the pain cave um, and show you some of the equipment that I use and show you how I train for the mountains um, from the gym. setup that we did um, yeah just before COVID uh, which yeah it's been yeah it's been incredible um, hello yeah it's been very good um, and yeah as things have uh, as things have progressed we've sort of added some things and taken some things away um, just to make it yeah as specific as possible for both me um, and so for training for ultra running and triathlon so yeah so just going around um yeah heaps of bands every band that you could possibly imagine um yeah big supply of red bull in the corner which is great and then yeah that in the corner of the cap that's the first red bull cap that i was presented and wore for the first race um that i was a red bull athlete for fairly standard Squat rack, um, I must, can't be my weights on it because I'd be lifting way heavier than that, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, Boso ball, uh, box, tax turbo trainer that normally sits here and I get my bike all sorted for it. Um, and then big TV that we just put Zwift straight onto, which is super easy. Um, and then, yeah, my favorite part of the gym is my treadmill ski yoke setup. Yeah, so I can, when I'm on the treadmill, I can then use the ski erg as if I was using poles, just to make it a little bit more specific to the mountains. We tried using it on, just using poles on the treadmill, but just found it was just a little bit too narrow. Um, and we ended up just, just uh, yeah, causing a little bit of damage to it. So yeah, this is the setup. Um, for what we need, it's just absolutely perfect and it's nice to be able to do a lot of, sort of gym work and yeah, to be able to come in here in the mornings and do my mobility and activations that then, yeah, it just means I'm ready for training um, and it makes training as easy as possible for itself. This is my last week in the UK and I then drive out to the Alps um, on, I'm going to leave here on, so I leave on Saturday, so I'm going to leave on Saturday, get the Le Shuttle across, which after doing Duolingo I now know, <laughs> I now know what it is. Yeah, then go to Teen, where I went last year because it's at altitude. I'll do a big block of work in my first week at altitude, um, then go to Paris take a couple of easy days and then have like a mini four or five day block after Paris, then start to taper. But because it's, because the average elevation at UTMB is like 1800 meters, you've got to be pretty prepared for the altitude. And if you're not, it really affects you. So today on the chair I'm just going to do, it's going to be 90 minutes long um, and going to start relatively flat for the first 10-15 minutes and then going to ease into it. Um, we were really lucky, we got this treadmill from Zwift um, about a year ago now and they modified it so it goes up to 25% incline um, just to help replicate training in the mountains when I'm at home. Um, and yeah, connect straight to Zwift on the TV and then in front of 
the treadmill, I've got a ski erg and that I actually bought off Facebook Marketplace, uh, as you do. Um, and that is then just to help replicate using poles um, and putting myself forward. Is it perfect? No. But it's, yeah, it's really good. Um, and then I've got a couple of harder efforts today. Um, so using Moxie Monitor, um, and what that's doing is it's just, it's measuring my oxygen saturation levels uh, in my muscle. Um, and yeah, I started working with Moxie a couple of months ago and it's been, yeah, incredible to see, yeah, to be able to just measure training that way. Uh, I'm gonna be using Core Body Temp, um, from core as well. I like to measure core body temp, especially when I'm training indoors. Just, it's just another metric that just really helps to see if things are, yeah, to see why performance may be dropping and is it because I'm getting too hot and then fairly difficult to implement a cooling strategy when you're inside, but um, yeah, it's really useful. And then be, measure, be also measuring VO2 max um, with the VO2 master at the end of the reps, so just very quick breathing um, into it just to, uh, yeah, just to see exactly what's going on, sort of what fuel I'm using, what my metabolic rate is, um, et cetera, using that. Um, and I'll be using that on the uphills, so fairly similar to UTMB. And then, um, yeah, start and finish on the flat and then uh, head off to physio. Right, who's done more Zwifting? 5,000 kilometers on the bike for me, and I've run 545, 46 hours running on the treadmill. My mind a lot, don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, need you every day. You like my oxygen, make it seem like the barging them. Got my heart, no barging in from the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wait the neighbors up, break you in and break you out. In the end, we gon' make a chat. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. We miss you, we gon' get tipsy, don't need a power shot. Got my heart, no. So for me, it's just the combination of uh, lactate, heart rate, core body temp, VO2 master, and the moxie. Like, yes, it's a lot of data, but it just helps to keep me in check. And I definitely don't use it for every session, but for the sessions that really matter, it then really matters to me. Um, and that means that I can also just track like exactly what I'm doing. And then at the time it's useful, but then in the future it's then also useful so you can benchmark and say ah oh, cool well, we did this session on this day last year this is how you did um and it's been really interesting in this training build up to utmb compared to last year's build up like everything is just so much better so much more optimized and for me like a lot of that comes from the data and the technology just allowing me to yeah just to be able to monitor my training a little bit better track my training better and then be able to see change because I don't race that many times in the year so I can't just use a race as like a test of form so by taking this data whether it's lactate or vo2 or blood oxygen saturation muscle oxygen saturation it just allows me to make sure everything's going in the right direction so on race day I know like exactly exactly what I'm prepared to do um so yes that was just a nice little session um before heading out to the mountains, uh, yeah, using Zwift, I just find it super useful using Zwift. Um, one, to track things, but then two, like it's almost like you're playing a game. Um, and yeah, do a mixture of Zwift on the treadmill uh, and on the bike, um, and I'll do a little recovery ride this afternoon. Um, 
yeah, full on indoor sessions, session day. And um, yeah, I just think it's yeah, it's super useful and being able to have these tools to be able to prepare as best as I can for the mountains when I'm in Loughborough at home is uh, yeah, super useful.